that happen here. Kind of sad it got here late, but whatever. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank Norm and the team Ontario Place for All. And I want to thank each and every one of you for standing up to keep public land in public hands to ensure that the people of this province and of this city have access to the waterfront, public access to the waterfront. I want to close by saying I have such fond memories of bringing my two daughters who are now grown up, but bringing my two daughters here to Ontario Place and having so many wonderful family friendly days here. And we are going to fight like hell to ensure that this place remains a family friendly place, not a privatized space for luxury spa goers. So the fight continues. We're going to fight with you. We're going to work with my colleagues across party lines. And we're going to cancel this contract. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Mike. I just want you to know, I first met Mike uh, a couple of years ago when there was a uh, there was a tour, a walk through here. Our friend Bruce Van Deaton, who does walks of Ontario Place and does walks through Ontario uh, through the CNE, recommend if you ever want to do a, 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 a Jane Jacobs walk with Bruce, it's a brilliant thing to do. And I first met uh, Mike at a walk through Ontario Place. Bruce said it's going to be a parade through Ontario Place. I thought a Shriner parade. I looked for my fizz and my tiny bicycle. Wrong, wrong. I mean, look at what they have accomplished today. So we're we're here to celebrate this cherished, this iconic space. Um, and but we're also here to tell Doug Ford that Ontario Place belongs to all of us, all of us. I want to say, as I'm walking along here, what am I remembering? I'm thinking about all the times I took take my little kids for walks down here when they were small, playing at the water park, walking our dogs. Maybe some of you are here for the first time. Maybe some of you have been here with your grandparents. Maybe you've been here for generations now. Well, we're, we're here because we're going to stand up and make sure that this land is protected for all future generations. I want to tell you that every day I have the privilege of sitting across the aisle from Doug Ford. Now I know some of you may not think that's a privilege, <laughs> but I look at it that way because I see my role as holding this government to account every single day. And I know, thank you, and I know that the questions that I get to ask are the questions many of you wish you could ask him every day. And we have been asking this government every day. We've been asking them to share the details of the deal with Therme every single day. And have they done it? No. We're asking them why they're going to subsidize a private, luxury, Austrian conglomerate by building a $650 million parking lot. And you know what they say? Nothing. Nothing. I ask them why they're proceeding with another deal with a bunch of Ford government insiders, with the chair of Ontario Place, who is appointed by the Ford government and a prominent conservative and donor behind closed doors negotiating right now to continue to sell off more of Ontario Place. And we are not getting the answers we want, so you know what we did? We tabled a motion and we said, take it off the table. Cancel the plan. Ontario Place, Pol Ontario Place belongs to Ontarians, right? <laughs> Because Doug Ford and the Conservatives, they think Ontario Place is their personal playground. And they think that the Ontario Treasury is their piggy bank. And the only ones they want to invite to the sand pit are their Conservative friends, our wealthy developers, and donors to the Conservative Party. And we're not going to have that. 
This is not just about a luxury spa. It's not just about the deals that are being done with Therme and others behind closed doors. This truly is about the kind of province and the kind of city we want to have in this, right here in this place and in Ontario, right? It's about our vision for what we want our province to be. And I want to, uh, to thank again everybody who showed up today to stand up for Ontario Place. This is not the end, this is the beginning. But I want to tell you, we are on it at Queen's Park and we're going to continue to bring that fight into the legislature every single day until we get this government to back away from this terrible plan. So everyone, enjoy the beautiful day we're having. Celebrate! Celebrate this jewel that we have here. Remember that we're not just fighting for the use of this space for ourselves, but it's for all of our grandchildren and their grandchildren and their grandchildren. Because we are the ones uh, who are going to protect this space, just like so many others have over so many years. And we're going to make sure that Doug Ford backs away. Uh, and then in three years, my friends, we're going to take him out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Really a big hand. Thank you so much. Big hand. Round of applause. She was supported there by uh, Mary Margaret. Man and Butila uh, Karposh, both uh, uh, in, in the government as well. I say in the government, listen to me. Let's check my notes here. Uh, Mary Margaret is the MPP for Beaches, East York, and she's here. Thank you for being here. And Butila is uh, MPP for Parkdale High Park. So again, thank you for being here. All righty. She's going to pass. Oh, Mary Margaret's next, right? We got Mary Margaret next. Okay, alrighty. Just uh, let me welcome Mary Margaret McMahon, MPP for Beaches East York. She's a liberal critic for environment, conservation, and parks, tourism, culture, and sports. Seniors in accessibility and public and business service delivery. Wow, I'm glad you got time to even be here today with that, that kind of a CV. Ms. McMahon is the Ontario Liberal Caucus critic for the environment, conservation, and parks, tourism, culture, and sports. Seniors in accessibility and public and business service delivery. Delivery. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Margaret McMahon. Welcome. Take it down. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks to Ontario Place for All, Norm, Cindy, Suzanne, and everyone else. I've never been to a rally. I've been to many, many rallies in my life, dragged my kids to them, um, but I've never been to one with cake. So this is pretty exciting. Happy birthday, Ontario Place. You're a little bit younger than me, but I am thrilled to be here. I remember coming here as a kid uh, with my brothers. It's amazing. Um, the reason I got back into this wild world of politics was because of the climate emergency. My brothers call me the eco-witch of the East, and I take that as a compliment, actually. And so everything I'm looking at, I look through that lens, and I know you do too, because we're in a climate emergency, it's 2023. And so when I think of buildings, I think we need to ensure that they're all built sustainably. So looking at mass timber, energy efficiency, Toronto Green Standard, not glass boxes on the lake, right? And when I think of transit, transportation, I think of active transportation. I think of uh, safe cycling infrastructure, safe infrastructure for pedestrians, and investment in transit. Not, not paving over paradise, which Sarah is not going to let us do. None of us are going to do that for a, a bloody parking lot. The world in 2023 is not all about the almighty car. And, you know, we need to ensure we are protecting and preserving our tree canopy. Honestly, the extreme heat is upon us and we're going to all bake. And it's not going to be good, but we need to preserve our old growth trees.
trees and have a fabulous succession planning planting program with non-invasive species, native species. Look at around us, 850 trees coming down, no way, no way. And um, last but not least, I'm okay with the second science center here, a second one, a mini one, a satellite one, focusing on ecology and the Great Lakes. But leave the gem in Thorncliff, leave that gem there. Right? And let's all work together, as Mike Schreiner says, across party lines to keep Ontario a place for Ontarians. Here, here, thanks. Thank you so much for that. That was brilliant. Next, I want to bring on Chris Glover. Chris Glover is uh, the MPP for Spadina, Fort York. And Chris was elected to the Legislative Assembly of Ontario in 2018. Re-elected in 2022. And he's representing, again, representing Spadina, Fort York. He's the official opposition critic for democratic reform, technology, development, and innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Glover. Okay, so my name is Chris Glover, I'm the MPP for Spadina Fort York, and Ontario Place is in Spadina Fort York. Welcome to the riding. Look, I am so honoured to be here with the leader of the Ontario NDP, Marit Stiles, with my colleagues Butilla Carpoche and Jessica Bell, and I just got back from Minden, Ontario, where I was with MPP Jennifer French, and we were fighting to save the Minden Emergency Room, which is ground... Thank you. It's ground zero on the fight against the privatization of our public health care system. This Ford Conservative government, they have three principles. They want to sell off public assets like Ontario Place. They want to privatize public services like our public health care. And they want to shovel as many taxpayer dollars into the pockets of private for corporations like Thurbay. And we have to stop them. This place opened in 1971, and I got to admit, I'm actually old enough. I was here in the year that it came, my, uh, that it opened. My parents brought me here, and this place was designed by Eb Seidler, the architect, by Michael Huff, the landscape architect, and the children's village was designed by Eric McMillan. He's the guy who invented the ball pit. So if you have ever enjoyed a ball pit, or your kids or your grandkids have ever enjoyed a ball pit, that's due to Eric McMillan. It's due to this place, and all. All of these architects and designers were Ontario based. This was a place to celebrate Ontario. And I just want you to, I want to acknowledge, we have Ontario Place royalty in the audience today. We have Jane Zeidler, the, uh, the wife of Eb Zeidler, right over here. And Margie Zeidler, his daughter is here as well. We have Bridget Huff, the wife of Michael Huff, is here. So I want to thank you and your families and your husbands for all the work that you did to make Ontario Place the iconic treasure that it is and the iconic treasure that we are fighting to preserve against the Ford government. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak today. Have a wonderful day and happy birthday, Ontario Place. And thank you, Chris. Chris uh, always has the best hat as well in, in the, uh, uh, on the uh, uh, Queen's Park. So I just want to now introduce our, our final speaker before we move into the music and the party again. And I, I, my pleasure now to introduce... Okay, oh, Sydney's here as well. Okay, that's right, Sydney. That's right, i got two more speakers, actually. So just give me a second here. We've got uh, Emmy. And uh, I've got his notes right here, so I'll start with that while I push around, okay? This is what we do. We just make it up as we go, folks, so bear with me. Emmy Agulu is uh, a, a, a young person, and it's just so great to see young people so involved in this, in this activity and in this, in this kind of uh, movement. And I want to thank you for being here, for your interest and your, your passion. Uh, Emmy is... Uh, with the Toronto Foundation for Youth Involvement in Politics. So the Toronto Foundation for Youth Involvement in Politics. So any other young people out there looking for a way to get involved, you want to talk to this guy. And uh, 
It's pretty incredible what he does. He's an organizer. He's also involved, a communications lead, actually, for Ontario Place for All. And he's a youth activist for an organization called Engage. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, friends of Ontario Place, everyone here, please welcome Emmy McGuller. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Emmy Agulu, and I'm a member of Ontario Place for All. Thank you so much for all joining us here today at Trillium Park to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Ontario Place, a cherished landmark that embodies the spirit of our city and province, a space that unites us in celebration, that fosters our collective learning, and offers a sanctuary for peace reflection, a place that stands for every citizen of Ontario. Ontario Place to me is more than just a landmark. It's a, state, a testament of our shared history, our collective memories, our communal hopes and our unified aspirations. It's our children's laughter echoing off the lakeside. It's the marvel of the cinesphere under the summer stars. It's a place where families and friends gather to enjoy the beauty of the waterfront. But today, my friends, all celebration is twinned with a rallying cry for the Ontario place we know and love is under threat. There is a proposal to privatize this cherished space, a proposal that stands to shut up the very people who have imbued Ontario Place with life and love for more than half a century. And we're here today to say no more. There's a saying, my friends, there's a saying that goes, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. And these words echo true for us today. And in this movement, we will not wait for someone else to save Ontario Place. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the guardians of this precious public space, the custodians of this city's history, and the champions of its future. And in the spirit of inclusivity, in the spirit of public service, and in the spirit of unity, we say that Ontario Place must remain for all. Let me tell you something. This is not just about preserving a public park. It's about preserving the democratic ideals that we hold dear. Access, equity, and community. Let us remember that Ontario Place was built for us and by us. It was never meant to be an exclusive spa retreat for the few, but a welcoming haven for many. So today, Ontario Place for All calls on you, the people of Ontario, to join us in our movement. We must ensure that Ontario Place remains a place where every child can dream, where every family can gather, and where all are welcome, regardless of their postcode or their pocketbook. Together, let us stand for the Ontario Place that we know and love. Let's fight to keep it public, let's fight to keep it inclusive, and let's fight to keep it ours. For we are not just the guardians of Ontario Place's past, but the architects of its future. We have the power to shape the next 50 years of Ontario Place. Let's shape it as a place for all. Let's make our voices heard and let's keep Ontario Place for everyone. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Uh, great, great. Thank you. I mean, uh, a great message, but also great passion and enthusiasm. We want to see that from everybody. Thank you for that. It just inspires us all. I've got one more person to introduce today before we get into the, uh, the, the party. Party time! Are you ready to party? Yeah! Okay, but first, a very important speaker now. Uh, I have a pleasure now to welcome Sydney Whitwell. Sydney is a disability activist. She is uh, very concerned about Ontario Place, but when we talk about making Ontario Place for all, she can talk about what that all really means. And I, and I asked her, you know, Sydney, do you represent an organization per se? She says, no, I'm just here because I'm very passionate about it. And she even mentioned it's people like Emmy that have inspired her. So I want to, uh, I'm inspired to have Sydney come up and speak. Please welcome Sydney Whitwell. one of the things that was important to me was a waterfront space. I'm from Vancouver Island, so I'm very used to having access to the ocean. 
and this is to me the perfect space and it's the perfect space for everyone and it should remain for everyone. It's the only space that we really have as people who live downtown, I live in Liberty Village, um, to access the beauty of Ontario and the beauty of the waterfront and I was so shocked when I met Bruce and he told me that they want to take that from us. It's an accessible space, and it's one that I can get around easily. I come here every single day with my dog. Um, some of you might have seen me crocheting over there or just going on a walk. And for those of us who use public transit and wheel trans, we don't have the opportunity to easily access another waterfront space, another forest space. And many people are the same. Many people who live downtown do not own cars. So this should remain for everyone. And when we talk about it remaining for everyone, it's one of the only accessible spaces that we have. Sorry, I'm going to come up a little bit higher. Um, it's the only accessible space that we actually have as far as um, some of the other parks. If it's rained recently, then there's no well-paved spaces. There's wide paths here for all manner of people, including parents with strollers, people on bikes. You can even notice the range of people as we've been sitting here and the speakers have been talking the amount of people that come through here and love this place and the wide range of people that enjoy it. And when we talk about Ontario Place for All, it's that range of people that deserve to continue to enjoy this space for 50 more years. Thank you. And thanks again, Sydney. It was really great to hear your message. Thanks. A big hand again for Sydney. Please, thank you. have some fun now. The rally is officially over. All the speeches are officially over. I know, I know, you can hear your sigh of relief. No, no, it was good messages today and just a thank you to everybody who took time from the public sector to be here and share their message and share their vision for Ontario Place because it's going to be a really great when we get it, when we help get it right. <coughs> We're going to now uh, ask Sarah Harmer to come on back up and join us. Because Sarah is going to lead off a musical program that will also include the Rio Statics and Dom Louie. So we've got a nice little lineup of music here to finish off our afternoon and make it a real, real birthday party. So again, and a big hand to everybody here for being here and supporting us. Thanks. Give yourselves a big hand. Come on, folks. That's what I'm talking about. And now, ladies and gentlemen, friends of Ontario Place, Sarah Harmer. <laughs> 